Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the next episode of Joe Kelly's Psychedelic Experience. Hey, what's going on with you, my friend? Your old pal Joe here, checking in with you on a motherfucking Monday. On America's birthday of all days. And listen, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing better than you ever thought you possibly could be doing. And if you're not, hey, 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 that's okay. But get your shit together. No one likes some sniveling communist on the 4th of July, all right? So be someone that people want to be around. Be someone you want to be around, more importantly. And get your shit together, people. All right? Does that sound good? I hope it does. If not, don't be coming Don't be coming in here pissing me off, all right? I don't have time for that shit. So... Don't be a commie. Get your shit together. It's the 4th of July, baby. And guess what? 100th episode. The official 100th episode of Joe Kelly's Psychedelic Experience is taking place at this very moment. As my vocal cords hit your ears, this is the 100th episode. Did I ever think we'd make it here? No. No. I didn't think we'd make it past two episodes, but God damn it. Almost... It could be more than two years of this podcast. I don't remember the date I started, but you figure, you figure there's 52 weeks in a year, right? So if I do one podcast every week, that would be 104. But there have been weeks where uh, I don't think I podcasted. So I think it's been about two years, but hey, happy to have you here. It's early. It's, excuse me, it's very early, my friends. I'm, uh, a little bit, well, I guess it's closer to 7 now. It's about 7 a.m. And I'm getting it done for you. And for me. I just, I wanted to do it fresh. I wanted it to be a Monday morning podcast for the very special 100th episode. And I'll be honest with you. I was trying to get a big special guest. Trying to get a celebrity type to come on for the the special 100th episode, you know. And uh, it didn't manifest itself. So, it's just going to be us. But I don't think there's any better way to have a 100th episode than just us. You know? So listen, i got some shows coming up. I'll be in Indianapolis this weekend at Helium Comedy Club with my good friend Aaron Weber. Doing some clean comedy. You know, comedy for the kids. Comedy that you could bring your grandma to. You can bring your grandma to any comedy show that I do. Just most of the time, I will try to fuck her. But when it's a clean comedy show, I won't. I'll let her go. I'll let you take her home safe and sound. Get a game of bingo again on the way or whatever it is. But you come on through Helium Comedy Club. Bring your, you know, bring your dog. Bring your grandma. Bring your kids. We're not going to be swearing and talking about eating ass. We're going to talk about uh, fucking... Chinese food or something like that, you know? <laughs> That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> so join me. Uh also uh July 29th, or excuse me, July 28th here in Nashville, I'll be at a place called Dark Matter. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it has a cool name. And guess what? I will be talking about eating ass and trying to fuck your grandma at that show. You bet your goddamn bottom dollar that I will be. And then, uh, what is it, August 6th, I'll be in Cincinnati, Ohio. Go to JoeKellyComedy.com for all the upcoming dates, will you? Quit fucking around. But how are you, my friend? How have you been? How was your last week of June? Did you use your time wisely? Did you check some things off that long list of things you have to do? You know? I hope you're doing just absolutely fantastic. I hope good things are coming to you. And I just want to say, hey, thanks for keeping me going through 100 episodes of this podcast. I'm still not too sure what it is that we're doing here. I'm, I was almost said every Monday, but you guys know I missed last Monday anyway. But I'm not sure what it is that we're doing here every Monday. But you guys keep showing up for me, so I'm going to do my best to keep showing up for you. You know, and just hope we continue to have fun and 
Whatever this fucking thing is that I've been doing, I don't know. I still don't know what it is, but I'm not really worried about it. Why are we so worried about what things are anyway? Why can't they just be? And maybe that's what we're doing here. Maybe this is just a place to come and be, you know, and say horrible things and laugh at terrible things and maybe feel inspired from time to time. Maybe that's what it is that we're doing. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm happy you guys are along for the journey. And uh, 100 episodes. What does that mean? I I I have no idea. I have no idea at all what that even means but i'll tell you this it's the longest podcast i've ever done and uh it's just been it's been it's been good i like when you guys check in i like your little comments i like when you slide in the dms you know say hey joe you're an asshole i go oh, fuck you you know <laughs> <laughs> that's not the usual conversations but anyway how was your week, my friend? How was it? What was going on with you? Did you get into anything fun? I did a couple shows last week. They were pretty good, you know. Met some met some nice folks that I uh, have not met before. Had a great time, you know. This one guy was definitely looking for cocaine, but he wouldn't say it directly, and I wasn't going. I wasn't going. I just kept pretending like I didn't know what he was talking about, you know. Because I'm not, I didn't want to do cocaine with him. I don't want to do cocaine anyway. It's not, listen, people, I don't know if you've ever done cocaine, but it is a lot of fun. But it's just terrible. It's just the worst. It's just the worst. You feel dirty. You feel gross. The next day is always the worst. It's like, oh, I just talked about nothing all night. It's like, yeah, just terrible. But, uh, this fella kept insinuating, he's like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to just have a relaxing night or if I want to, you know, if I want to party or something like that. He just, he said it about eight times. And I was like, yeah, dude, I don't fucking know. I don't know. But you're asking me if I know where you can get cocaine. And the answer is no, but I'm going to make you say it. You know, I'm not going to, I'm just going to remain ignorant to everything because I want, I want to hear you. I want you to ask me what it is you're trying to get at so I can look at you and go fucking no, you know, but other than that, it was a good show. Nice guy. You know, there was a dog at that show. Got to pet a dog a whole bunch. (laughs) And then I did, I want to, if you came out to Yazoo at, uh, on Friday, last Friday, I'd like to thank everybody who came out. I'm not sure how many of the, the folks came out listening to the podcast, but we had a great turnout. Plenty of people came and said, Hey, and to me, and, uh, someone gave me a bag full of $2 bills. Wish I would have had those for the cocaine guy. Huh? Would have, <laughs> would have worked out well, but the shows went great. They were a lot of fun. A good buddy, Aaron Weber popped through that one too. And guess what? Me and Aaron Weber, we went on a hike on Saturday. Once again, we didn't even do no gay stuff. When was the last time you went in the woods with another man and didn't do no gay stuff? (laughs) Fucking (laughs) rare occurrence, you know? Odds are good if I'm wandering into the woods with another fellow. We're going in there just to do some good old-fashioned butt fucking. You know what I mean? We went by the lake. People were like, did you go fishing? And it's like, nah, we did. I went fishing in his asshole with my cock. <laughs> that's usually, that's usually what happens to me when I'm in the woods. You know, I just like, that's where you go. That's what ladies don't realize is like, anytime there's a man hunting trip or like a camping trip or something like that, we're not going to get away from you. We're going so we can fuck each other and not tell you about it. A lot of gay sex in the woods. That's usually what happens, you know. That's why you go to deer camp. You th- How come every time you go hunting, you never come back with anything, you know? And it's because you're in the woods fucking your buddies in the ass. I'd hate to break it, you know. I'm tr- not trying to spoil our fun here, fellas, but <sighs> that's the truth of it, ladies. Anytime we're in the woods, any hunting or fishing trip is nothing but just lots and lots of gay sex, you know around fishing hooks and weapons it's very dangerous we're we're filthy aggressive creatures you know but uh 
we this time when we were walking through the woods at the lake we didn't have no gay sex we were just taking a stroll through the woods you know no gay sex at all it's kind of disappointed but you know it is what it is but a great hike you know aaron's a big fat guy <laughs> so, so i'm happy to go hiking with him keep him motivated you know keep him alive a little bit longer because i'd hate for him to get so fat he died i tell you that much right now <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep he's gotta walk that line of being fat enough to still be funny but not fat enough to die because <laughs> if he loses too much weight he loses 50 percent of his material probably more than that probably 60 70 percent because he's just a fat guy talking about being a fat guy you know what i mean so if he's not a fat guy he's gonna have nothing to talk about but also if he gets too fat he will die <laughs> So it's a you know it's a you know you think all fat guys are lazy but really they're probably having the toughest time to maintain that body form without going completely off the rails <laughs> so i think we got to give fat people more credit you know fat people are still alive anyway <laughs> aaron's a good dude he got so excited i don't know how big you guys are too in into um comedy at all but Aaron was uh, on the road with Burt Kreischer. Burt Kreischer was doing like baseball stadium tours uh, or like a couple weekends of it. So it was like Burt Kreischer, Big J. Okerson, um, Shane Gillis was on some of them. Dave Attell was on some of them. And Aaron was on some of them too. Aaron's doing well, man. He's a very funny dude. He started doing comedy after me, but all, his dreams are coming true, and it's very it's fun to watch because he's a, he's genuinely a good person, I think anyway. He's a Catholic, so take it with a grain of salt. But he's a sweetheart of a human being, and uh, I'm happy to see the I'm happy to see that the world is uh, responding to what he has put out into it. <clears throat> but it was so it was so funny. We were on a we're walking, we're on our little hike or whatever. <clears throat> and he gets a, uh, he got a text message from Dave Attell. And uh, Dave Attell is, is a legendary, people who do comedy, dudes who do comedy love Dave Attell. People who are good at comedy love Dave Attell. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> but he just wanted to so he sent Aaron a text and Aaron's face just lit up like Dave wanted to I guess Dave Attell was thinking about a joke and he was worried that Aaron might have said it when they were on tour together so like we're walking through the woods Aaron's like dude look at this look at this text and I'm like uh, cool I like I didn't even know it just said hey it's Dave A from the tour from Bert's show and I was like that's cool is that like some guy that was helping you guys was that some roadie he's like dude that's Dave Attell and I was like oh that's a very strange text to send but it's Aaron's face lit up he's like yeah dude if you want to talk about a joke you just call me so we start walking out of the woods and then Aaron's like oh he's gonna call me right now so he just stops <laughs> and just stands in the woods and talks to Dave Attell and uh it's it's fun, man. It's fun to see good things happening to your friends, I guess. I don't know. It was so it's so cool to see Aaron doing well. He hosts the podcast. He's one of the co hosts with Nate Bargazzi, who is a great comedian as well. And uh I couldn't be happier for the dude, man. It's all it's it's awesome. It's very fun to see uh good things happening to who I deem to be good people because at the end of the day <laughs> it's all it's who I think is good and deserving and who isn't but uh but Aaron's the best and it is wonderful to see to see the universe lifting your buddies up and responding to them even though it ain't doing a goddamn thing for me <laughs> but it's not always about me but obviously if good things are happening to Aaron he's trying to make sure that 
good things are happening to me as well by taking me on the road. Because I think he knows that I don't like to talk to people on the phone that much. So he's like, <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to talk to a famous comedian on the phone, but I really don't like to talk to people on the phone, you know? Not really. I don't even like to text message people that much. I like to talk in person. That's my favorite form of communication. And even that is like, depends on who it is, you know? I'm just not a big phone person. But anyway. I wouldn't know who I'd want to talk to on the phone. Would I be happy if Dave Attell called me while I was in the woods? No, I'd probably be annoyed. (laughs) Like, you old man, go do something better with your time than thinking about jokes, you know. But anyway, great time. I'm happy good things are happening to my buddy. I hope good things are happening to you and the people that you love and are in your life. You know what I mean? Other than that, I really got nothing. I got nothing. I mean, we could talk about all this other bullshit that's going on in the world. Do you want to talk about Roe v. Wade? I certainly don't. I don't care. I don't care. (laughs) And apparently that's, uh, you know, you can't, don't, don't be telling the ladies that you don't care about Roe v. Wade. I I don't care what you do with your life though, either. So I think you should be able to do whatever it is you want. Um, I just think this, This whole Supreme Court thing is just a big sham and a charade, as with everything, to uh, keep people busy and hooting and hollering at each other from what's really going on in the world. But I also understand that life is a difficult thing to navigate to, and there's a lot of confusion involved. And, you know, whatever you think, whatever you think you need to do to be able to make your life and existence a little bit easier, I think you should be able to do. Even if that means killing your baby. All right? (laughs) If murdering your baby is going to make your life easier and more navigationable, is that the right word? Is that even a word? Easier to navigate. I say go do it. I say go do it and you should be able to do it. That's my big stance. Kill your babies. Kill your husbands. When, even if you decide later in life, you go, you know what, I'm going to keep this baby. They end up being eight years old. You go, you know what, I don't like this kid anymore. Throw him in the trunk, drive him into a lake. I don't care. I really don't care. Not my business. Got nothing to do with me. So, (sighs) go out there, live free, prosper, whatever the fuck that whole thing is, you know what I mean? That's how, ugh. It's it's absolutely, ugh. And he was just doing comp. People want to talk about it. And it's like, cool, cool. fucking everyone's so stupid anyway. That's what is the most disappointing part. It's just dumb people talking about things that they shouldn't be talking. Anyway, I have nothing to add to that. I've made my little jokes and that's it. Let's move the fuck on. Did you see Nancy Pelosi elbow that young lady? <laughs> Did you see this old mean lady push a child like a little bit? Did y'all see that? Apparently it's some uh, senator's daughter, something like that. They were trying to take a picture and Nancy Pelosi like didn't like how close the little girl was to her. So she eyeballed her and then like fucking flipped her away with her elbow. And everyone's like, there's no way she did. She didn't push that lady. It's like Nancy Pelosi pushed a child. <laughs> What a mean, decrepit old bitch she is, regardless of her politics and whatever it is. She's an old, mean lady. I think we can all agree with that. Get these fucking people out of our faces, will you? Quit giving these people credit and validity to having some sort of power. They're clearly mean, old, bad people. You know what I mean? You're going to push a child and they go, I didn't push a child. It's like, you're on camera. Pushing a child. What do you have to say about that? You just go, well, I didn't push a child. What is it? Double talk, double think, whatever it is. That fucking 1984 shit where somebody sees you do something and then you just go, oh, well, I didn't do that. And they go, well, we saw you do it. And you go, no, I didn't. I didn't do it. So I don't know what you saw, but you didn't see me do that. And they go, well, we'll show you too. We'll show you. 
here, look, look at you pushing that lady. And you go, I'm not pushing that lady. I was fucking helping her. I was helping her move over. That's all I was doing. She wasn't standing in the right spot. So I was just helping her move over. I didn't put, I didn't shove a child. I didn't throw a forearm shiver into a child's chest. <laughs> I, just, I was just helping her. I was helping her get in the right spot. Fuck that lady. Remember when she ripped up Donald Trump's speech and everyone thought she was so cool? Remember that? And now she's pushing children. <laughs> we gotta maybe get some better heroes in this fucking country, huh? Jesus Christ. I was, it was like, wow, she ripped up the speech. What a cool lady. What a cool, awesome, righteous woman. And now she's fucking pushing children around. Look what you did. Look what you guys did. Not you guys, but you know what I mean? The people in general. Anyway, listen, I got not much else to say here. Let's get you the animal video clip of the week and get you on your way, my friend. How about that? How about that? Thank you for joining me along this journey of whatever this podcast is. You know, 100 episodes. That's some milestone. That's something good, right? It's a good thing. It's consistent. We're working. I would love to for you guys to come see me do comedy sometime. Let me know where you're at, please. And even if it's, and I'll book a show there, even if it's just me and you. I'll do a comedy show just for you. If nobody else shows up, let me know where you live. Because I'd like to, I want to get back on the road, man. But I don't want to keep just doing shows for other comics. You know what I mean? Just to do their shows. I'd like to come find my people. I'd like to come see you in your city. So let me know where you're at, all right? Let's get you the animal video clip of the week and get you on your way. Did you all see the video of the people at Yellowstone Park last uh, week? I almost said last year, but it was last week. Uh, fucking with that bison. Did you all see that? For some reason, to me, if I see an animal with horns, I'm going to not go near it. That's just a general rule that I have, you know, unless it's like, if I had a pet that had horns, then it'd be different. But if there's just an animal wandering around and it has horns, there's a good chance I don't want to be fucking with it. But for some reason, for some reason, people just don't, people don't see the horns or whatever, you know, I don't know. Anyway, the video is right. There's a bison, Yellowstone Park. And for some reason, I don't know why people want to get close to it. And it, it's so big and scary. It's like, why? <laughs> you know, and the bison certainly doesn't want people getting close to it. And, uh, you know, this one, there's like three people around it. Four, if you count the child. That's the thing, too, is like someone, someone brought their child to a, next to a bison. Where's CPS? At what point have you failed as a parent when you're putting your child next to a tank with horns on it? Pretty much, you know? But everyone's taking their pictures, doing whatever, doing shit for the gram because everyone's fucking retarded, you know what I mean? So they want to get close to the bison and take pictures with it. And then the bison's like, I don't think I like this anymore. Let me start getting mad. And then all of a sudden, you know, king fucking dad over there, he's like, oh shit, I forgot that my child is right here. Let me pick up my child, gets the child out of harm's way, and that bison just fucking gores his armpit pretty much, which is good, which is a good thing that happened, you know? I'm glad it wasn't the child. That's good. Hey, you saved the day, Dad. Way to go, but it cost you, you know? Maybe not the whole arm, but you are definitely got some nerves fucked up. And uh, it's not. it's a good video. It's good to see these things happen. Not because I want people to be in pain or be uh, gored. I just like people to get what's coming to them. Because as George Carlin once said, you get what you deserve and you deserve what you get. Keep it in mind, people. Keep it in mind. That could be, and that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Take that in your life. And uh, maybe get some positive things to come back to you. Hey, thanks for checking out the podcast this week, everybody. Hope we had a little bit of fun. JoeKellyComedy.com for all the upcoming dates. 
and uh, 100th episode. Happy 4th of July, my friends. A salute to you fine patriots out there. Go eat some hot dogs and fuck some bitches. You know what I mean? Patriotically do it. Like Uncle Sam, you know? that Give her that good Uncle Sam dick. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Listen. I hope we had some fun this week. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. I truly do appreciate it. I really do. You guys are absolutely wonderful. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to make it interesting, you know? I'm probably not going to do these early in the morning anymore. (laughs) Just wanted to try something a little bit different. But I love you. I love you so much. And do me a favor, all right? Take care of yourself and take care of somebody else. I'll catch you around real fucking soon. Later. Hello, video. Friends, what's up with you? We're here. Just us again. Special thank you to you. 100th episode. Did you, can you believe it? Can you believe we made it this far? Together. You know? If these are about 30, these are about 30 minutes long, 20, 30 minutes long. 100 episodes, that's like 3,000, right? 3,000 hours? Not hours. (laughs) Minutes? (laughs) 3, (laughs) get the Joe Rogan numbers, dude. 3,000 hours. 3,000 minutes of me and you together. I'm happy we've made it this far. And I hope we continue to grow together. Thanks for watching the podcast, everybody. You guys, as always, are the backbone of this. I hope you have the best 4th of July you could ever possibly have. I hope I hope they save the last hot dog just for you. And then you just shove it in your ass in front of everybody. <laughs> because you're a patriot and you can do what the fuck it is you want. It's the 4th of July. You died for this country. Okay. You deserve an extra hot dog, and you deserve to put it wherever you want, because you're the best, and I love you more than those audio fucks, you know? Listen, we can appreciate them, but we know deep down, we know who's better. It's you. Have some fun this week. I'll see you next week. I might see you again this week. Who knows? Definitely next week. Maybe later this week, too. Have some fun. Should I start making ASMR videos? Maybe. A lot of ideas going on. But listen, have some fun this week. Get out there. <sighs> Make your dreams come true. Whatever they may be. And the, don't forget to uh, keep dreaming. Your dreams can't come true if you don't dream. So get out there. Do some dreaming. And I hope they all come true. I'll see you next week. Have some fun. All right. Later.